Hey y'all, Kenny here. Thanks for joining me. Just a quick video to address a couple scope related questions that I'm asked frequently. One is, uh, can you change the eye relief on the scope? The answer to that is no. Uh, you can use some offset mounts and uh, move the scope forward or back. Or you can move it forward and back in the rings uh, to get it in the right position. Uh, but you cannot change the eye relief. It is fixed. The second question comes from the uh, air rifle folks uh, and the rimfire enthusiasts and that is can you change the parallax adjustment on a scope that does not have an adjustable objective and the answer to that is yes. First what is parallax? Well I'll just read you a definition. The effect whereby the position or direction of an object appears to differ when viewed from different positions. So how does that relate to a scope? Well, if your parallax is adjusted correctly for the distance you're shooting, you can move your head around in the scope and a reticle will remain fixed uh, on the target. If the parallax adjustment is wrong, when you move your head, the reticle will move also. So I did a little video looking through a scope, kind of hard to get the camera set up, not the best, but I think this will uh, help you understand what I'm talking about. So how do you correct the parallax on a scope that does not have an adjustable objective lens? On most scopes, and this may not be true of all scopes, but you'll have this cover on the objective lens. You need to break that cover loose. I cover this again in my DIY scope repair video, part one. You may actually have to use some heat to do that. This is an icon that I've partially disassembled. I had to make a socket. Uh, to get this ocular lens out. Uh, this scope is just all over the target. Something's uh, come loose inside, uh, but I've already taken that cover off. And there's your objective lens. You have two notches that you can make a socket if you feel like you need to, but most of the time you can do this just by turning the lens. So you just look through the scope and, uh, and adjust this in or out until you have zero movement of your reticle on the target. Of course, you need to be on a really solid uh, rest uh, to do that. And uh, it's a pretty simple process, and not anything complicated. When you get finished, just put your cover back on. Now on this little conus, you see there's a gap there. I put thread locker, cleaned the threads, put some thread locker on the objective lens, then started this cover on, but I didn't run it all the way up. So now this scope can be adjusted for any distance that I want to adjust it. Uh, the thread locker's holding the cover, and uh, it's tight enough in the O-ring that it doesn't move. So I can adjust parallax on this for a rim fire, or I can adjust it at 100 yards for a high-powered rifle. I can even adjust it at 300 yards. So there's nothing really complicated about it. If you try it, good luck with it. If you like this sort of gun stuff, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.